Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Tom from GamingItToChainers.com and in this video, I'm going to talk about a new browser for Windows and Mac called RockMelt. It is in beta right now, so you have to go to their website and apply, or if a friend on your Facebook profile has RockMelt, you can ask them for an invite. So basically, to put it short, RockMelt is a social browser. And I'm going to start on the right-hand side, but first you'll notice that RockMelt is looks a lot like Chrome, and it's because RockMelt is built on Chromium version 7. So it pretty much is Chrome, but with a different layer on top of it, a different skin. Somewhat like how on Android, different um, carriers can customize Android, or phone manufacturers can customize Android. It's basically like that, and I'm going to show you everything, everything you can do with RockMelt. So on the right hand side you can have RSS's for your web favorite websites and you can have your Twitter and Facebook profile and I'm going to go from bottom to top showing you everything I have on mine. So the first thing in the bottom I have is Twitter. I've got my whole Twitter feed here so I can see the latest tweets. I can click this and post a new tweet and also have the location. So that's cool and you can you know it's pretty cool and with other features you can go to twitter.com or add another account so that's cool next thing I have is my Facebook profile which is just updates on Facebook you can check all your updates if you have any new ones and if you do have a new one it will show you in the little bottom right hand corner that you have some updates it will show how many so here's my Facebook news feed and yeah pretty much that's it and then right here I've got Mashable which is a website I go to all the time pretty much every day so I can check this if I'm just surfing the web I see this, I want to read this article, I can click on it and go to Mashable to read the whole thing. So that's cool. I also have Engadget and my own website, GamingUnderChainers.com. So that's definitely cool. You can add all those. And this is where you can invite your friends to RockMelt. You can click this and then click a profile and send someone, someone an invite. Down here at the bottom, you can add even more things like you can go from most visited sites Let's say I go to Locker Gnome a lot, LockerGnome.net, so I can add that website to like a favorite, and then I'll be able to click that and go straight to it, so like a shortcut. And I can have even more things. I can add different websites or YouTube blog, because I've been there. Or you can even do recent websites. So you can add more things, or even enter a URL right there for feeds or websites. Pretty much anything that goes to a web page, you can add on the side. So that's pretty cool. And on the other side, you have all your Facebook friends, and you can start instant messaging with them. You can just click on a name. Let's say I want to talk with him. Here's his profile right here. And I can also chat with him. I can type in something. I'm not going to talk to him right now because I don't want to, anything to pop up in the screencast. But yeah, you can chat with people straight from the browser anywhere you are. Any website, pretty much anywhere. So let's go to a website and might as well go here. And you can share it if you want, so you can post a link to your wall, and you can select the um, different icon that will go with it, or you can tweet the link out and send it, so that's cool. Or and you can choose if you want to add a thumbnail or not. So that's very cool, you can share that. And pretty much RockMelt is very cool for what it does, because it's very social, you can get very connected with all your websites, and it's just a very smooth way to get updated on everything. If you go to a lot of websites, it makes it very easy to check everything and be up to date with everything. So it's very cool. It's a very good browser and it's in beta right now. So if you want to go to RockMelt, search it on Google and then you'll find it. And one last feature, which isn't so big, but it's still cool. is when you search in the search bar, results come up right automatically from here. And you can search for more results. So, you don't even have to go to Google, you can stay on the web page you are at. And it's basically really cool, because you can go to any of your websites without actually going to them. You can still stay on one page. I can stay on this page and still do all of these things. Which is definitely really cool. It's a great browser. I'm not going to use it 24-7 right now, because it's in beta. And I don't usually use websites that are in, or browsers that are in beta fully, just for security purposes. But definitely go check it out. It's a great browser, and I can't wait to see it when it comes out of beta. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.